Today, we're looking at 10 animals that have come back from extinction. At number 10, we have the brooding frog. frog. The southern gastric brooding frog was discovered in 1972 in the mountains of Queensland, it Australia. Okay, but the that is Adam as an animal. It, in it looks like a normal frog. When somebody discovered the plant that causes the Are you kidding me? Put <laughs> the mother frog converts her stomach into a What? She swallows her own eggs that and stops making hydrochloric acid in her stomach to happen. avoid digesting her own young. Around 20 to 25 tadpoles hatch inside her, and the mucus from their gills continues to keep the acid at bay. While the tadpoles grow over the next six weeks, mommy never eats. Her Ew. stomach bloats so <laughs> much that her lungs collapse. Forced. Dude, this thing literally grows babies in its stomach and then pukes them out. Wait, that what I'm guessing crazy. happened is all the frogs went extinct, but the babies in its stomach were somehow still miraculously alive. So, like, when they all got extinct, it just spit it out. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. to breathe through I'm, her own that's skin. That's terrible. If that isn't the ultimate example of motherly love, I don't know what is, and I personally don't want to. So when did it go extinct? Eventually, though, she does give birth to her brood through propulsive vomiting. Ew! Ew! Uh, the it's like the hairless head. Horned frog gross. However, during the time when scientists wanted to fully study this amazing animal, they became extremely hard to find. The last specimen was seen in the wild in either 1979 or 1981, and despite so it's been extinct for like 100 days, years, none were ever found again. My math is the wrong. The last captive individual died in 1983, and the species was no more. Ew. Until a few Good years riddance. ago, of course, when Mike Archer and his team from the University of New South Wales were able to bring this once extinct creature back to life by using a process known as somatic cell nuclear transplantation. Wait, what? Oh, wow. Wait, I didn't know you could bring things back to life. In a lab. I thought they were just gonna like find them after they hadn't been able to find them for 30 years. That is some Jurassic World stuff. Yeah, they literally brought an entire species back to life. What? Yo. That's impressive. Wait, this is only number 10, guys. We're gonna be looking at animals <laughs> like a serpent. Okay. Dude, they might have dinosaurs in here. Like, actually, oh, they might have dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, like a dodo bird. A saber tooth tiger and even a dodo bird. There's I mean, a dodo bird? The oh, yeah. Great bear they also call it the Adam bird. The nuclei with that of the gas. The dodo, dodo, dodo bird. bird. To Mike and his team, <laughs> I'm thank you. For all your hard work. Now we can look forward to seeing <laughs> tiny <laughs> vomiting frogs out. Dude, look, look how fat that. they are because they have babies in their bellies. Number nine. <laughs> Here we go. Number nine. <laughs> oh, smiles, say cheese. Oh, oh wait, wait, they sell the these at Petco. An animal bouncing <laughs> back from extinction. More on that in a bit, but first, let's actually hey, meet the animal. That crested thing. geckos, or cresties, are a member oh, it's of the so Diplodocteridae family of geckos native to Australia, New Zealand, and New Zealand. I was actually going to get a crested gecko, but I was kind of nervous because if you touch them a certain way, their tail will fall off. Yeah, but then they, they regrow. Back. It yeah, regrows. Right. Yeah, but it, it grows back like like a little nub. It doesn't grow back fully. Oh. Yeah, so I didn't it's really want the nub. It's scary, dude. It, it looks like it's blind. Wait, how'd you get it if it went extinct? Well, they sell them at Petco and PetSmart now, so oh. I don't know. I guess they they must have went extinct, and then uh, I guess Petco and PetSmart brought them back to life. That's oh, crazy. In a lab again. They are among the are largest crazy. gecko species and typically range from 6 to 10 inches in length, including 4 to 6 inches of tail length. Their most oh, distinctive dude, features are, so are cool. the hair-like projections found above the oh, eyes, which they look greatly amazing. resemble eyelashes. Crested geckos also oh. have two rows of spines that run from the sides of their wedge-shaped oh, head so to the cute. face of their tail. So cute. Oh, and they don't have eyelids, so they use their long tongues to moisten their eyes and Ew, they lick their eyeballs to moisten they them. They are, actually. Can you guys do that? Mainly because of the way they look and how easy it is to take care of them. But it almost didn't go that way, as they were thought to be long extinct. That is until they were rediscovered in 1994. Whoa. When they were rediscovered, the trade of this animal was banned worldwide, but not before a couple of breeders in the U.S. got a hold of some. And the rest, as they say, is history. Let's go. Team USA. Number okay, so what I'm learning from this is that animals that go extinct aren't actually extinct sometimes. They just, we just can't find them. They're just so good at hiding and we can't find them anymore. So yeah, we're just like, ah, oh, they're gone. They're just gone. That's what I thought this whole list was going to be. But it's not because we're able to bring some of them back to life. Yeah, the first one we literally brought back to life, Jack. Uh, okay, if you guys could bring one animal back to life, who would you pick? Oh my gosh, dude. I would probably... Tyrannosaurus. Taurus text. Who would I pick? Sean? I'd probably pick my grandma. Uh, dude, your grandma is kind of a dinosaur. Kind of oh, who would mm. I want to bring back? Probably the Megalodon. I would oh. love to see a Megalodon. Wait, is Alec about to cry? No. Alec, it's okay, man. It's okay. Alec, Alec, your grandma's right behind Jack. It's okay. Alec, Alec, I'll go. I'll go <laughs> okay, you, bro. That's bro. Guys, I don't have pants on. This is really awkward. It's okay. It's okay. Your dinosaur grandma's going to be fine. We're going to bring her back to life, okay? Yes. Oh, my God. God, we brought her back to life. She's oh here. Oh my God. Give her, give her, 
kiss! Give him a kiss! Give him a kiss! The Bermuda Petrel. Oh, I love this like thing! Like the dodo, which is probably the poster child for extinct birds, is is the Bermuda Petrel was an island yeah, wanderer. Yeah, you know, the Bermuda Petrel. Video. Man. It never went extinct. When like Christopher the Columbus bird. sailed the ocean, it's thought that there were up to a million of the nocturnal seabirds on the then uninhabited Bermuda Islands. Okay. In the 1500s, passing Spanish sailors and the rats and pigs they brought with them feasted freely on the birds and their eggs during their pit stops on the North Atlantic <laughs> Islands. In the Whoa. 1600s, just 20 years after British settlement on Bermuda, the Bermuda Petrel was declared extinct. Almost 400 years later, in 1951, Bermudan teenager David Wingate was one of a party of naturalists who rediscovered hey, 17 nesting pairs of the gray and white bird. They were clinging to life on four rocky islets close hey, what's to Bermuda's going on? Castle Harbor. Oh my god! He became Bermuda's <laughs> first conservation oh, officer and now. This is like the, the TV show Big Brother. Until his retirement. Now in his 80s, he still visits the seabirds he dedicated his life's work to. I farted. No. So they were thought to be extinct for 400 years. 400 yes, they were, years. Adam. Adam, I'm glad your ears are working today. That's not Adam, that's my grandma. Nice, uh, Granny. I'm glad the surgery went well. You good can hear job, so good Gr now. Good job, Granny. Good job. You're doing great, Granny. Guinea singing dog. Whoa, Highland a puppy! Dog, oh, driven a puppy. to be the ancient living wild Ooh, dog. Boy. This species Ooh, is thought boy. to be the ancestors of domesticated dogs and has been feared extinct for more than 50 Aww. years. <clears throat> Wait, that, how is that the ancestor of domesticated dogs? It looks like a domesticated dog. Oh, it's not. It, it's a half dog, half guinea. Uh, like a pig? Actually, and uh, it can your, sing. Mom, your mom is the ancestor of domesticated All right. dogs. All right. Shut up, dogs shut up, shut up, shut up. Because of their love of howling. Which oh. probably didn't endear Guys, it reminds me of Dice. Oh. Yeah, this species oh. has been rediscovered in the forest and highlands that passed so away. About 3,300 to 4,200 meters yeah, above sea that. level. No. Maybe we can in bring him back to life. In 2016, cameras documented the presence of at least 15 highland wild dogs, including males, females, and cubs on Mount Punkak Jaya. It seems that scientists had a hunch that these dogs were actually extinct, even before the rediscovery. Between 2005 and 2012, oh, there have been so sightings cute. of this species, but haven't been confirmed by solid evidence. According to scientists, the studies on these dogs give us a better and more detailed comprehension of these canines. Number six. Number six, ew! <laughs> what the heck? This thing should have stayed extinct. What is that? Okay, oh okay, God. okay. I understand why this thing went extinct, bro. Everybody oh probably thought God. it was so ugly. It. it was so ugly and everybody passed away. It looks like Job of the Hut. <laughs> it does, it does, it does. This is the pygmy tarsier. Pygmy tarsier. Indonesia's no, tiniest <laughs> primate oh species. Oh my gosh. The pygmy tarsier is so about the size of a small Is it a mouse. monkey? Weighing less than Wait, two that might be the thing from Madagascar. Okay, a lemur. dude. A lemur. Dev, 100% Yoda was based on this thing. 100%. Mm. Oh. From head to tail, Maybe Yoda's hair. Its most fingers of are so length. long. They're the creeping me out. Pygmy tarsiers are about 75% the size mm, that is of the tarsier species. And yet, relative to their diminutive size, Dude, it looks like Mother Nature has fitted pygmy tarsiers with long legs. And it's probably these legs that so wide eyed to life despite found apparent some crazy plants. Dude, it looks like it just saw like the craziest <laughs> thing ever. It's like this. Oh my god. Its eyeballs are so wide, but it still looks like it's squinting. I don't they know, don't man. Know. That thing could see in four dimensions. Their ears are like a big chip. Gursky Doyen of Texas <laughs> A&M <laughs> <laughs> University traveled into the mountains of Sulawesi Island. Ew! Ah, it's kind of cute. Becoming There's the first no room in its skull for a brain. It doesn't have a brain. Many other scientific its brain is in its eyeballs. And all of them <laughs> it's currently unknown how many live specimens are out in the wild, leading to their data deficient classification by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, or That's IUCN. A mouthful. This means that not enough information is known in order for a better classification. That's why scientists are working diligently to find more of them. Do not find more them. of these guys. <laughs> no, please do not. Line. The South Island Takahe. The South Island Takahe. 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 bird indigenous to New Zealand and the largest Jack, it has your forehead. The I gotta say family. it. It was first encountered by Europeans These in 1847, ancestors. but the first recorded encounter with Takahe <laughs> Dude, was in 1849. How are you doing that with your nose? This is when a gang <laughs> of dusky nose, bay Adam. sealers found and followed the trail of a I'm bird. I'm <laughs> a bird. by their dogs, the bird ran with great speed, and upon being captured, uttered loud screams and fought and struggled violently. Aww. Three or four days later, they roasted and ate the bird, declaring Aww. it delicious. They ate it? Yep. Being delicious seems to be reason enough to cause extinction as these That's birds were systematically hunted for their meat. 
After the final Aww. bird was captured in 1890. Wait, guys, they kind of low key look like dinosaurs a little bit. A lot of it, actually. This I is agree. what I imagine dinosaurs actually look like because when they do those like those like uh, projections of like the T Rex and the. Uh, okay, let's move on. Okay, let's move on. That's they never have yeah, no, them with hair. They have that's hair. That's a good point. That's a good they point. They definitely have hair. Until they do. They do. Later. They do. They have feathers. Living yes. Takahi were rediscovered in an expedition led by physician Jeffrey Orbell near Lake Tianao in Alex. the Murchison Mountains on the 20th of November, 1948. They actually remind me a lot of T-Rexes. I think T-Rexes had feathers, though. That's actually true. I, I, I heard that somewhere that uh, scientists think that the ancient dinosaurs, they had feathers. They were all like giant birds, pretty much. That's crazy. Yeah. That's what yeah, this reminds me of Chickens are more closely related to them than anything else. Yeah. Eight. The <laughs> expedition so started when footprints of an unknown bird were near Lake Tianao. Takahi. Two Takahi were caught, but returned to the Takahi. wild after photos were taken of the rediscovered bird. Takahi. The rediscovery of the Takahi. Dude, I didn't know birds could have big foreheads, but. <laughs> the New Zealand government took immediate action by closing off Crazy. a remote part of the That is a fat, thick bird. Birds from being bothered. Their population is now steadily climbing, but it is still yes. a protected species. Takahi. Number four. The Caspian horse. Oh. The Caspian horse holds a distinction. It looks like a normal horse. Yeah, it looks like a normal horse. The newest of horse that is a normal horse. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything special here. This dates the Caspian back to at least 3000 BC, predating 3, other recognized BC. breeds of horses. When the Persian Empire collapsed in 644 AD, its royal horse was lost for more than a thousand years until its rediscovery in 1965. It took that it long American to find it again? It was the that rediscovered them. They were found by Faro living around a remote village called Amal in a mountainous region near the Caspian Sea. Okay, so the, uh, they, they were they were never actually extinct then, right? It doesn't even seem like anybody was looking for them. If they were still there for 4,000 years, we were just like, ah, I guess they're just gone. Their last refuge from extinction. Were Dude, they have nice hair though. I gotta say, I can't stop looking at their hair. Where locals would periodically catch them and breed them as workhorses. Small numbers of feral Caspians remain in remote areas near the Elbers Mountains of Northern Iran. In Iran, a like National Caspian here. Stud Farm, Persicus Farm, established <laughs> by so Louis Perot, is maintained by the government. Their tail? This once thought to be extinct <laughs> creature is now considered a national <laughs> treasure, and its future is looking brighter in its home country. Yes, they look so Number happy. Number three. Ooh, top three. The Madagascar. Oh, oh what? Wow. An eagle. A serpent eagle. Half eagle, half owl. That might be my, my new favorite animal. Madagascar. It occurs very locally Whoa. in pristine eastern rainforest, where it hunts inside of the forest. They are among the world's most endangered raptors and was previously thought of as extinct until their rediscovery. It was rediscovered by Russell Thorstrom. Let's go, Russell. On November 3rd, 1993, the scientist was walking through the dense forest of Madagascar's northeast coast when he spotted hey. one of these presumably extinct birds, for the first time in over 60 years. Whoa. The discovery electrified biologists working He's to save Madagascar's nice wildlife. They estimate that the 900-mile-long island located in the Indian Ocean off Africa's southeast coast holds 5% of the world's living species. More than 150,000 of the nation's plants and animals, including the serpent eagle, exist nowhere else. Today, it is critically endangered. There are about 75 breeding pairs, and guesses go that there might be as many as- I'm not gonna lie, I feel like eagles are always endangered. It doesn't matter what type of eagle it is. My whole life, it's always been eagles are endangered. Eagles are well, endangered. Well, yeah, I mean, I know okay. that humans are the Again. cause of a lot of extinction events, Um, but are we hunting the eagles? Like, how are they going extinct? Aren't they yeah, at the I'm... top of the food train? They're like the apex predators of <laughs> the air world. Aren't they the top of the, uh, the food train? The yeah, apex aren't they the top of the food train? <laughs> there's only 75 that exist. Currently, yeah, that's insane. So these that's are actually five crazy. breeding yeah, pairs. So there's technically one. What's annoying me though is this list. There's a couple of these animals that they just can't find them, and then eventually they find them. So they never were actually extinct. Hundred and twenty. So now it's time for the day's best pick. Big D yes! the best pick. It's my favorite part. It's oh! my favorite part of the video. I've been waiting best for this part the whole time. Best pick. Best pick. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. My God, I've been waiting for this. Wow. This thing is a photo what? of a happy couple walking. No, 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 no. That is not real. That can't be real. That's, that is not that's real. That's a human dressed I'm up as a I'm calling it right now. Tiger. That's real. That, that is Alex's grandma in a costume, for sure. Their pet cat. A very Dude. big cat with long teeth. Number two. Wait, is that real? The smile. Whoa, oh, they were? You. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. No all right. way. All right. All right. All right. 
It came back. It came that back with some real. deformities. That is real. That is real. <laughs> Let's go. They I'm brought real. back the physical form of it, but not the mental. We it's a list it's, called <laughs> 10 Extinct Animal Scientists Who Never Bring Back to Life. If this video that. is to be believed, what? then those scientists clearly weren't watching our video. Okay. Or what is going on videos. here? In this video, you see a happy couple walking their pet saber into a cafe. Also known as a smile of Don, down the street. Adam, can we please do that with you? We just walk you around. Regularly hunting and feasting on thick skinned prey like Macedons, horses, and bison. It probably ambushed its prey since its short legs limited its running speed. Its hunting strategy may have been to mortally wound its prey with its saber. Mortally -like teeth, wound. Probably in the belly, and let the victim Ooh. bleed to death. Smilodon, like most meat eaters, may also have been a scavenger. So who in their right mind would want to bring them back to life? The good news is the animal in the video no. is a rather a very no. impressive. That is animal. terrifying. The slinky oh, no, smile that in danger. Danger. normally a fixture at the National History Museum was making its way to the Labria Tar Pits Page Dude, Museum. Imagine where being it will the begin Imagine being, being the person inside that costume. There's kids like coming what, what, up and wait, what it's costume? so weird. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I like it's it's I think oh, it's real. It's, I think they're it's, trying to lie bad. just That's so that funny. I don't What if get it was scared. real and just ate the kid right there? <laughs> <laughs> it's also teaching kids to go up and pet these yeah, wild animals. Yeah, that's kind of dangerous. That is not what you should if be If I was in the costume, I would tackle the kid and start eating his face. Life as the star performer Kind of weird. Program. And who was behind this amazing be piece robot. of puppetry? Why no other than uh, Jim, Jim Henson. Henson himself? The coelacanth. Oh, coelacanth! See, I told you guys, a fish! In depths yeah. of up to 2,300 feet below the surface. Oh, this they is the Pokemon Relicanth. Reaching 6.5 feet or more and weighing 198 pounds. Scientists estimate they can live up to 60 years or more. More importantly, they are the poster child for any creature that cheated extinction and made a comeback. Oh. It was thought to have gone extinct with the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Wow. But its discovery in 1938 terrifying. by a South African museum curator on a local fishing trawler fascinated the world and ignited a debate about how this bizarre low fish, fish fits into the evolution of land animals. Although not extinct, they are still classified as critically endangered. Well, at least one of its two species, with only 500 specimens out in the wild. Can we leave anything that. out? Let us know in the comments section down below. Wow, that was insane. If you guys enjoyed that video and want to see more just like it, click this video right here. Do it or else Alec will go extinct. Oh my gosh, I'm smoking a lot.